What specific problem does the new method or algorithm aim to solve? The new method or algorithm aims to solve the problem of ensuring the composability of interventions for language models. Specifically, it addresses the challenge of applying multiple interventions to language models in a way that does not interfere with each other's effectiveness. The goal is to develop interventions that can be sequentially applied to models without negatively impacting the success of prior or future interventions. The method introduces metrics such as order-free error and order sensitivity to evaluate the composability of interventions. By studying how different interventions interact when applied in sequence, the algorithm aims to provide guidance on choosing interventions that can work well together and to highlight the need for developing new interventions explicitly designed for composability. The ultimate objective is to broaden the evaluation criteria for interventions and to drive the development of new, practically grounded interventions that can be seamlessly combined to update language models effectively and responsibly. How does the proposed method or algorithm work? Illustrate step by step. The proposed method works by introducing the notion of composability to language model interventions, formalizing the sequential applications of multiple interventions to LMs. The method aims to address crucial practical challenges in online LM updates and broaden evaluation criteria for interventions. The process involves defining an intervention as a combination of an operator, hyperparameters, a loss function, and evaluation criteria. The operator aims to minimize loss and achieve high performance. The method then considers intervention composition, which is the application of multiple interventions to a model in sequence. The quality of interventions should relate to how they impact the ability to apply other interventions. To measure composability, two metrics are proposed, order-free error and order sensitivity. Order-free error measures the impact of adding a second intervention to a model regardless of order, while order sensitivity measures the performance invariance to the order of application. These metrics provide insights into intervention composability and help in choosing interventions to compose. The method involves experiments to study the effects of sequentially applying multiple interventions to the same model and evaluates the impacts on performance using intervention-specific metrics and overall utility. The results of these experiments reveal how different interventions interact and compose, highlighting the need for new interventions explicitly designed for composability. What are the theoretical or practical benefits of using this method? The theoretical and practical benefits of using the method proposed in the paper include 1. Formalizing composability. The method introduces the notion of composability to language model interventions, providing a structured approach to sequentially applying multiple interventions to LMs. This formalization allows for a systematic evaluation of how interventions interact and impact each other, leading to a better understanding of intervention composition. 2. Addressing practical challenges. By studying how interventions interact and influence each other, the method helps address crucial practical challenges in online LM updates. It offers insights into how different interventions can be combined effectively without interfering with each other, ensuring that models remain up-to-date, accurate, and efficient over time. 3. Broadening Evaluation Criteria the method broadens the evaluation criteria for interventions by introducing metrics such as order-free error and order sensitivity. These metrics provide a more nuanced understanding of intervention composability, guiding the development of new interventions explicitly designed for composability. 4. Guiding Intervention Design the method offers guidance for designing new interventions that target composability as a crucial property. By identifying interactions between knowledge editing, model compression, and machine unlearning interventions, the method highlights the need for interventions that are explicitly designed to be composable and have expected behaviors when combined. 5. 
enabling practical applications. The method's experimental framework allows for the practical application of test time interventions by studying the effects of sequentially applying multiple interventions to the same model. This enables researchers and practitioners to make informed decisions when choosing interventions to compose, ensuring that overall model utility is maintained. 6. Facilitating code base development. The release of an extendable code base that unifies state of the art implementations enables others to develop new multi objective interventions. This facilitates collaboration and the development of novel interventions that target composability ultimately advancing the field of language model interventions. In conclusion, the method proposed in the paper offers a structured approach to evaluating and improving the composability of language model interventions, addressing practical challenges, guiding intervention design, and enabling the development of more effective and efficient interventions for language models. How is the method validated or tested? The method is validated or tested by proposing two metrics for composability, order-free error and order sensitivity. Order-free error measures the impact of adding a second intervention to a model regardless of the order of application, while order sensitivity measures the performance invariance to the order of application. These metrics are computed across hyperparameter choices for each intervention and criterion. By measuring the success of interventions and their impacts on each other, the method disentangles absolute performance from the interventions and explores the interactions between interventions. The experiments involve applying interventions in different orders and computing the differences in success measures to isolate direct interactions between interventions. The method also includes sweeping over hyperparameters to provide a general sense of composability without pre-selecting hyperparameters. Overall, these metrics provide insights into intervention composability and guide the selection of interventions for composition, highlighting the need for tailored composable methods designed for expected behaviors. What results were achieved with this new method? The results achieved with this new method include the identification of key insights regarding the composability of interventions for language models. The experiments conducted with 310 different compositions revealed novel findings. Firstly, it was discovered that model compression often limits the success of other interventions, indicating a significant drawback of existing compression methods. Secondly, the order in which interventions are applied dramatically alters their success, highlighting the need for new interventions explicitly designed for composability. Thirdly, it was found that general-purpose post-intervention model performance is a poor proxy for composability, emphasizing the importance of targeting composability as a metric to drive the development of new interventions. Additionally, the study showed that existing interventions interact in meaningful ways, and that successful composition will benefit from tailored, composable methods with expected behaviors. The experiments also demonstrated that composability can vary within the same intervention category, with some methods being more composable than others. Overall, the research provided valuable insights into the interactions between knowledge editing, model compression, and machine unlearning interventions, emphasizing the need for more nuanced evaluations, explicitly targeting composability as a design criterion. What are the limitations or drawbacks of the method? The limitations or drawbacks of the method proposed in the paper include the following. 1. Limited evaluation metrics. The paper acknowledges that using overall utility evaluations, such as MMLU scores, may not effectively measure composability. While these metrics provide a general idea of model performance, they may not capture the nuanced interactions between interventions. This limitation suggests a need for more comprehensive and targeted evaluation criteria to assess composability accurately. 2. Dependency on intervention categories. The study reveals that the composability of interventions can vary within the same intervention category. For example, 
different editing methods or compression techniques may exhibit varying levels of composability. This dependency on intervention categories implies that the effectiveness of composability may not be consistent across all types of interventions, highlighting a potential limitation in generalizing findings across different intervention categories. 3. Complex interactions. The paper demonstrates that the order in which interventions are applied significantly impacts their success. The interactions between interventions can be complex and vary based on the specific methods used. This complexity suggests that designing interventions explicitly for composability may require a deep understanding of how different interventions interact, posing a challenge in developing universally composable methods. 4. Need for tailored methods. The results indicate that successful composition of interventions may benefit from tailored composable methods with expected behaviors. This need for customized approaches, tailored to specific intervention combinations, implies that achieving high composability may require significant effort in designing interventions that can seamlessly work together without interfering with each other. 5. Difficulty in predicting composability. The study highlights that predicting the composability of interventions can be challenging, as the impact of composition can vary based on the specific interventions and their order of application. This unpredictability in how interventions will interact with each other poses a limitation in accurately assessing and ensuring composability in practical applications. Overall, while the method proposed in the paper offers valuable insights into intervention composability for language models, the limitations mentioned above underscore the complexity and challenges involved in designing and evaluating composable interventions effectively. What future work do the authors suggest? The authors suggest that future work should focus on developing novel interventions explicitly designed for composability as indicated by the findings of their experiments. They emphasize the need to broaden intervention method evaluations and to design new methods that target composability as a crucial property of practical interventions. The authors also recommend exploring the dynamics between how models are compressed and how knowledge is modified, as this relationship remains underexplored and could provide insights into creating more composable interventions. Additionally, they propose further research into understanding how interventions interact and impact each other, especially in the context of model compression and knowledge editing. The authors advocate for using multiple metrics and datasets to evaluate the composability of interventions thoroughly, as relying solely on general performance metrics like MMLU may not capture the nuances of composability. Overall, the authors suggest that future work should focus on developing tailored, composable methods that have expected behaviors when applied in sequence to language models.